Um, so next up we have um, Jane Drenty from the Department of Justice and Attorney General, or JAG, as uh, everyone in the school likes to call it. Um, Hi everyone. Um, so I, I'm a little bit different to the other guys in that I haven't actually graduated yet, so I'm actually in my final semester. Um, but I am working full time at the moment at um, Youth Justice. Um, now, I'm working for a section there called um, Conferencing, Restorative Justice Practices. If anyone has heard of that, can you put your hand up? Oh, good, okay. It is kind of like a long explanation, so I won't go into it too much today, but I will be outside at the criminology stand if anyone wants to come and talk to me further about it. Um, I actually did the subject here at university, I think two years ago, um, and absolutely loved it. Um, that's run by Hennessy Hayes, who's very passionate about the subject and does a lot of research. Um, my actual boss now teaches the course with Hennessy, so it's kind of like, come, when I walked into the interview and saw her there, I thought, oh, okay, I felt quite at home and it was almost like it was meant to be. Um, I don't know if anyone knows, but when conferencing, um, when Campbell Newman came into power in 2012, he pretty much ripped conferencing out for youth justice and replaced it with boot camps. Um, fortunately, we now have that funding back and so it's a very exciting time to be involved. Um, just a little bit about my um, background. Um, obviously, I'm a mature age student. Um, I had careers in restaurant, owned restaurants before I decided to come back to university. I actually am completing the dual degree of psychology and criminology. Um, I liked that we could mould the two um, by looking at sort of the complexities of the mind and the individual and then looking at sort of sociological theories and, and blending those two together. It um, was a little bit scary at first when I came back, but it's, um, it certainly didn't take long to um, fit into everything. Um, as far as favourite subjects, I mean, restorative justice would definitely be one of my favourites in criminology. I know that any student here would say that probably a fear of statistics may have been on their agenda when they first came back. It certainly was mine. Um, the thing that I found really useful was just asking for help and I think that um, Griffith University as a whole and certainly um, the School of Criminology are very, very good at um, helping students. Um, you just have to ask. Um, I also am very, very fortunate to have done developing professionally and professional practice with Dr Lyndall Bates. Um, I, it, it's imperative that you look to do those subjects. I know, I'm pretty sure developing professionally is now a core subject. Um, I didn't get a job out of my placement, but I got a lot of um, experience and I gained a lot of confidence um, in actually applying my degree in a professional sense. I learned how to write a resume based around my degree rather than my past working history, which was to me very important. Um, and learn to have a network again, because you know, or, or you know, starting networking, um, and it, that's so important as well, and gaining that confidence to talk to professional people. Um, the other thing that I would strongly recommend, I mean, apart from the fact that grab opportunities as they arise, um, is some sort of mentoring. So for students that are here at the moment or high school students that are thinking about coming on board, that may seem a bit overwhelming. But if you can grab onto a mentoring role, it's very, very um, good on your resume. Recruiters love it. it. It means that you have leadership qualities and it really is something that they, they definitely um, put up there as one of the, the top sort of abilities of people. Um, you can do that through the School of Criminology. Uh, there are volunteer roles that are also paid roles. Um, so there's like, I was actually a uni skills group leader and I know there's a couple of students here that have looked at that. It, it is a paid role, but it also, um, I, I guess it helps you it's mentoring, but also using, um, giving advice on academic skills. So it, it kind of gives you more confidence as you go into your studies as well. Um, as far as gaining a job, it can be frustrating, especially um, with government jobs. Um, I know I went through a lot of smart job 
applications and you know you get knockbacks um, it, it's frustrating you don't necessarily get the feedback that makes any sense it's important not to take it personally um, and to always just keep trying um, the careers services at Griffith are amazing um, so like it's very important to engage as many services as you can at the university I don't know that there's any step along the way that you wouldn't feel that you could ask for help of something. So it's just, I think a lot of students don't know necessarily, so just ask, ask anyone, and, and there's always something there. But um, yeah, I think it's very important just to keep plugging along. I know with my current role, um, I actually saw it on Smart Jobs the day it expired, and um, I thought, what am I going to do? I called the contact person and he said, you've got one more day. And I thought, oh my God, there's just no chance. Um, but somehow, you know, I got a call back and I think you've just really got to give it a go. Um, oh, and I didn't mention also um, with the CSS, like which you'll hear about, um, I actually got a placement through them with probation and parole. Um, and it was an internship, and I actually got a part-time job out of that as well. So there's just opportunities everywhere. You've just got to keep trying for it and um, keep plugging along. Where I'll be in five years, I am enjoying my new role at the moment, um, but I love research, and so it's quite possible that I will come back to university at some point and do some more study. Thank you. Thank you.